said this lady wanted to train me. She said, I'm a trainer. And I looked at her. Now she might have been real good. I'm not saying she wasn't good. You could, you could be an obese trainer and be effective. But I just kind of thought if, if what you know isn't working for you, It's just the way I think. Pray for me. I just, you know, when somebody tells me they're a hairdresser, the first thing I do is look at their head. <laughs> you, you ought to model what you do. You ought to model what you do. You can't be a fat bodybuilder. Now you can go to heaven fat. You can sing in the choir fat. You can even preach fat. But if you're a bodybuilder, Oh, somebody's going to be mad at me this Sunday. Pray for me. So, so what I want... <laughs> there was a little Jewish boy who had trouble with his mathematics. He could not get the math. And his parents were very concerned about the fact that this little orthodox Jewish boy was not doing well in mathematics. They tried to find tutors and counselors to help him, but it would do no good. And so finally they decided that, that we've got to check out some schools. And they found the best mathematics school in town was a Catholic school. It was a Catholic school, and they were Jewish. And uh, the beliefs of the Catholics were different from the beliefs uh, of the Jews. And they were apprehensive, but they were so concerned that their son would get the math that they sent their son to Catholic school. First day after school, their son came home from school. They were sitting in the living room. He walked right by them, didn't say a word to them. Went in his bedroom, sat down at his desk, and did his math. The next day, it was the same. He came home from school, walked right by his mother and father, never said a word to them, went right straight into his room, sat down, and did his math. The third day, the fifth day, the ninth day, the tenth day, it was the same. Walk right by, go to his room, sit down, do his math. The quarter came to an end. He came home from school, laid his report card between his parents, went right straight into his room, sat down at his desk, and did his math. They opened the report card, A plus in math, at the best school in town in mathematics. They were amazed. They went running into his bedroom, exhilarated, son, son, you got an A plus in math. How did you do it? What happened? What did they do? Did they give you a good counselor? Did they give you a good teacher? The boy said, no, it was none of that. When I went to that Catholic school and went into the office on the first day, they had a plus sign on the wall. And they had a man nailed to that plus sign. And I understood that these folk are serious about this math. And I decided I'd better get the math. God, give me this. God, give me that. And God is saying, I ain't got no space. Okay, let me just bring it on down home. If I was dating a man, and we've been dating three months, and uh, I got stuck out there on the highway somewhere, four o'clock in the morning, he gotta be at work at seven o'clock, and I got a flat tire, and I pick up the phone and call him. I call him and I say, hello, this is me. Will you sleep? He said, yeah, I'm sleeping. Well, I got a little problem. And he go, what's it, what's it, what's it? I'm kind of stuck out here on the highway. Now, because I only been dating three months, he might say, well, I'll see what I can do to come, come get you. I, you know, I got to be up at three, four o'clock. Or he may say, well, I got an auntie that live not too far. I'm gonna see if I can call my uncle to come and get you, you know. But let me help y'all with something. If I'm married to him, and I done had about four ugly kids, and, 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 and I'm washing his clothes, and ironing his clothes, and cooking for him, and cleaning for him, I'm not gonna get on the phone and ask him nothing. I'm gonna say, I'm out here 
My mother was a state supervisor in Wisconsin, but at the death of my father, many, many years ago, almost 50 years ago, 40 something years ago, she had to finish raising all of her children. She didn't have driver's license, so she went and took lessons to get her driver's license. The man felt so sorry for her. When he went to the motor vehicle department, he told the people, he said, this lady can't really drive, but she has so many children. <laughs> So the man who gave her her driver's license test came back to the owner of the company and said, you're absolutely right, this lady can't drive, but we're going to give her license anyway. So my mother put about 40 stickers on her car. Christ is the answer. Jesus knows. He'll answer prayer. Faith without all the rest of it. But there was one thing she had on her car, bumper sticker, that said, honk twice if you love Jesus. Now remember my mother could not drive, and she would drive 10 and 15 miles an hour, and I would be sitting in the car next to her while she was dropping off food and dropping off clothes, and people would be blowing and they would be cussing at her, and all of the rest just blowing the horn, and my saintly mother said, isn't it good they saw that sign hung twice if you love Jesus? We're 10. We had to be 18. That's why some of us was married as soon as we get 18. Do you like me? Do you like me? <laughs> Down the aisle we go. Eight girls. So since we couldn't have no boyfriends, you didn't come to my car and pull up and honk. Honk, baby, you never would get an answer. They didn't play it. How many mamas was like that? Come on. So we had to do our boyfriend business in church while she was shouting, tearing her head down. <laughs> Me and Khaki used to sit up in church and write notes. Dear Johnny, y'all did it too. Do you love me? If so, sign yes in the box. Yes or no? Come on, I got to know. I know I ain't but 10, but I, don't, I gotta know. <laughs> and soon, we never did listen to the preacher, but soon it's time for us to get saved. We go up to the front, just to show off. We weren't trying to get no saved. Immediately go on to this. Could somebody please explain to me what this means? <laughs> Bucci did it. Bucci, she that's why she's so tickled. Khaki, oh, she was real good at it. And then Irma, all of Vivi, all of them. <laughs> just ain't saying nothing. Just start, just start out. <laughs> Is you cold? <laughs> that's, that's where we started out. As soon as Monday came, that was it. We got saved about 300 times when we was little. Did you hear Snoop's album? I was shocked. It was actually gospel music. Like, I thought it would be a rendition of like other raps that he have. I thought it would be like, rolling down the street, reading my Bible, sipping on communion juice, laid back. No, with my mind on my savior. In a, no, I'm just gonna, no, sorry. Too soon for that? A little too soon? A little tender about Snoop? Okay, we'll move on. I made those. Give it up for that young man. That's what you say when you don't remember somebody's name. Give it up for that young man. He was out here talking about Christmas. How y'all doing? Welcome to the Christmas at the cathedral. Welcome. This is awesome. Give it up. Give it up for the choir. Up here, all in red. Nobody told me to wear red. Okay, you could have gave me a note, a memo or something. Give it up for the greatest bishop in the whole wide world, Bishop Blake! And Lady May Blake, my other mama. This is my other mama on the West Coast. And my other dad. Love you, Bishop Blake. Love you, Mother Blake. Love you, May Blake. Love you. We're going to have fun tonight. 
We're going to have a good time, music, dancing, and I'm your host. We're going to have a good time. He was up here talking about gifts, gifts, Christmas gifts. I buy, what's that, a fan? Turn the guitar off. Oh, no, that's a fan. I buy people what they need for Christmas. People get mad at me. I don't buy them what they want. I buy them what they need. I bought my uncle a hair nose clipper because his hair nose in his be too long. And I gave it to him. He's like, what's this? I said, you know what it is. Your hair nose are too long, uncle. It's not right. Really look at what people need and give them what they need. Don't give them what they need. Use. I, give my, I gave my security guard some lotions for his hands because he's always ashy. I gave him... I gave him... Hey, man, what's this? I don't want that. I said, you need it. He said, I need a raise. That's what I need. I need a raise. You need to deal with your hands. It's the holidays. Don't let people just walk around your house. Don't do that. Don't let people just roam around your house upstairs and downstairs. Keep them downstairs. Put a rope by your stairs. Don't let nobody go up there. Because people will steal, especially your family. Look out. You think it's a stranger, it'd be your family. Because they know where your stuff at. One of my nephews stole one of my watches, man. One of my nephews stole one of my watches, man. I remind him every time I see him, too. Every time I see him, I be like, what time is it? What time is it? <laughs> you know I don't know. <laughs> ever since you stole my watches, I don't know if I've been late for meetings ever since. I remind him, Uncle White, when you gonna let that go? When my watches show up, that's when I'm gonna let it go. I love Christmas. I remember when I was younger, I used to get stuff for Christmas. I used to get, I used to get good gifts. I got like a go-car, motorcycle. You don't get that now. I get stuff like Ferrari, but I want somebody to buy it for me now. Now, but I got a telescope one Christmas. I got it to look at stars. Then I started looking at my next door windows. I was, you know that was the devil. That was the devil. That's when I knew I had to go to church more often. I ain't had no business doing that. I got a guitar. I got a guitar for Christmas. I wanted to be like Prince after I seen a Purple Rain. Y'all remember Purple Rain? I remember Prince. Get down, da, da, da. I got a guitar, but I never would practice. I would go to the lessons and wouldn't practice. God said, now get out of here. You ain't practice. Get out of here. No. You think Prince became Prince by not practicing? Go out there and practice. Well, I'm going to be up here all night. We're going to have a good time. I'm excited because it's the holidays. Y'all excited about the holidays, right? You excited? Give it. Y'all got quiet when he brought up offering. Everybody was quiet, like, what? Well, people put, some people put their head down when they bring up offering. It's hard for me to go to church in different churches. This is my church. When I go to churches, people, preachers think I'm going to give them money when I come to church. Automatically, they be thinking, they, they see me walking down the aisle, they be like, oh, my God, look at the, who came in here, rushed in here within an hour. God knows what we need, money time. We need no dead presidents. Money is the fifth element. The pastor ain't saying give you nothing. Somebody just gave me a beautiful gift backstage. Look at this chain. I just got it. Let me come down here and show y'all this chain. Now you don't be, don't get broke during Christmas time. I told you what to get people what they need. Don't get broke because you know I know you got bills and stuff. If you got bills, don't worry about bill collectors. Tell bill collectors like I tell them. I say, look, people owe me too. Okay. That's right, you tell, that's what you tell bill collectors. But somebody bought me this beautiful chain. I feel like a bishop up here. Don't I look like a bishop? I feel like a broke bishop, because it ain't gold. It's not a gold chain. I love, people are so sweet. This gave me this out of nowhere. And it, and it, don't it match what I got on? What's, what's that? Hey! What you doing in this church? Devo, what are you, I mean, Tiny, what are you doing? Smokey, I mean Chris Tucker. Man, this ain't no movie. This is church. This is real life. I've been going here for 30 years. I go here too. When you start going up I, here. I've been going here. When do you think I've been going here? Are you trying to be funny? No, I wouldn't be funny with you, man. How you doing? I'm a brother in Christ too, man. You better be a brother in Christ going to this church. I am, man. I... Playtime is over. Okay, stop all the spitting. Oh, no, okay. man. Hey, you extra acting. It's too much acting. <laughs> You, I love you, man. I heard you, you go here too, don't you? Yeah. Okay, man. Well, God would want us to fight. You know he would want us well, to get I, along. I, I, I think I'm Paul. Oh. And I got a lot of Saul in me too. Now, Paul got saved. Paul, oh. got, he gave up all that bad stuff, I've only been Paul. saved for three days. I've been going here for 30 years. Oh, God. <laughs> Debo, you got to let this go, man. We grown now.
You lucky Bishop Blake's here, so I'm going to let some things go. Thank you, God, bitch. I'm Thank you, I'm going to forgive you. Okay. For one day. Oh, man, come on. I'm going out of town tomorrow. Then. You say I ain't let your hand go, huh? Okay. Tidy. Now, let's, let's get the bygones be bygones, and, and we'll be friends. We'll be going to be friends. Well, you can, I know you Don't can't see on this me, eye. Man. I know you can't see on this eye. I'm going to keep coming over here. I know that. Hey, man, you better stop talking about my eye in front of all these okay, people, okay, I'm man. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't been delivered from that chain, though. This is I'll, my... Somebody gave this to me for Christmas. If you want me not to lay hands on you, you gonna give me that chain one way or another. You know this ain't what God will want. You know that. Hey, God's still working on me. Oh, give me that chain. Oh, man. Get out of here. Devo. You won't let nothing go. <laughs> Buy your own chain. Give it up for Tiny Zeus Lester. <laughs> Y'all seen us in the movie Friday said I carried all of them in. No, I'm playing, no. We did it good. That's my buddy right there. One more time, Tony Zeus left it. He's a member here. I'm a member here, too. I'm talking about I ain't no member. I sit, I sit here. I'm running. Right I can't see nothing because I sit behind Magic Johnson every service. I can't see nothing. I don't know why they sit him in the front row. Him and Stevie Wonder, they could be sitting in the back. You know that's wrong. Tony took my chain, man. I remember I went to Saudi Arabia, man. I wore my cross in Saudi Arabia, all the way over there in Saudi Arabia. And I was walking around with one of my friends, man. He's a builder. He builds hotels and stuff. And he was walking around, and I had my cross out. And he told me, he said, Chris, please put your cross in because we have religious beliefs. Please just put your cross in. And I told him, I said, man, I'm a Christian. I'm not putting my cross in for nobody. I don't care where I'm at. I told him that. That's what I told him. But then he told me, but they are killing people. I said, but you didn't say that. You didn't tell me that. I said, Lord, please forgive me. I'll be back Christian in three days, I promise. I started to pray and everything. Oh, all the way to the airport. Oh, oh, get me out of here, man. They stopped me too. What is this? I said, fingernail clipper, man. Get me on this plane. I love coming to this church. I don't like going to church when they got a guest speaker, a new preacher. He forget to tell everybody to sit down. Don't you hate that? The new preachers forget to tell people to sit down. We preaching the whole sermon, you still standing up. <laughs> when you tell us to sit down, remember, forget that offering when you ask for it too. I don't like preachers that go through the Bible too fast. I don't like that. Everybody ain't, ain't been practicing like that. Don't you hate when a preacher go through the Bible too fast? Like turn to Luke 45. And then you got to find him like, oh, oh man. <laughs> hey, is Luke in the front of the Bible or the back of the Bible? There's something wrong with my Bible. Look, I'm sorry, dude. Is Luke in the front of the Bible or the back of the Bible? Huh, help me out, man. Thank you. God is going to bless you for that. As soon as you get it, go to John 45. Pastor, slow down! I just got Luke! Give me time! And some pastors play too much because like, I go to church in Atlanta with my mama. Y'all know, anybody know my mama, Mary Tucker? I go with my mama and I sit next to my mama. You know, some pastors be to tell your neighbor to shut up. <laughs> and one time I forgot I was next to my mama. I said, shut up. She said, boy, if you don't stop, some mama, that's your pastor. <laughs> he played too much. He knew I was sitting next to you. <laughs> I was caught up in the moment. Tripping. That's when the Lord said you better quit. I can sing too. Y'all know the old song soon and very soon? Come on, sing it with me, y'all. I think I done set it up in the back. You ready? Y'all ready to sing this? Nobody wanna sing this song because ain't nobody ready. Y'all ready? Come on. Soon and very soon. We are going to see the king. Come on, y'all, take me. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Come on, y'all, let's get Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to see the king. Cut, cut. Nobody wants to sing that song. Nobody want to go. 
Like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't like that song, Lord. I don't want to see you right now. I want to see you, but not now. <laughs> I got more things to do. <laughs> y'all remember one man standing alone? See, I was raised in the Church of God and Grace. Y'all remember that? I don't know the words. I hope y'all remember, because I don't remember. One man stand alone. A lonely highway. Then Jesus said, then Jesus. That's all I know. That's all I know. I remember I was a little boy. I remember saying in Hensley Tabernacle in Georgia. My mama used to comb my hair. It was so nappy. She would lay my head in the lap. By the time I'd lift back up the hair, nap back up. That's how nappy my hair was. I'm real nappy hair. Y'all remember that? I'm looking for a miracle. I'm thinking the impossible. I don't know the rest of the words. Y'all gonna get to help me. Sky is the limit. And I'm not. All right, I'm gonna stop for Bishop throw me out of the church. Sorry, Bishop. One song I do know the words though. His eyes on a sparrow. Y'all want me to sing that? <clears throat> Y'all ready? I'm gonna go right in the verse now. I don't know the beginning. His eye is on the sparrow. I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I am free. His eye is all. And I know he watches me. Thank you. I see because I'm happy. I just wanted to do that. I'm done with it. I can sing Kanye Save now. Y'all saw Kanye? Kanye came down to New Birth Church in Georgia. He getting people to church and nobody get to church. I'm serious. He had JD and uh, TI and uh, Two Chains was at church. They were asleep, but they were there. <laughs> God is moving. <laughs> Kanye made me mad, though. I don't know if y'all remember back in, when New Orleans had that flood. Kanye, had, I, we was doing some Alive Aid thing. And Kanye said, George W. Bush don't like black people. Man, y'all remember that? And I went up right behind him. Y'all remember that? He said, George W. Bush don't make me look, look like, you know, he was looking like Nat Turner had me looking like Uncle Tom. He said, George W. Bush don't like black people. And they went to me and said, go, Chris, go. I didn't know what happened. I said, George W. Bush loved black people. We just need a little bit more time. No, we go get, y'all ready to go? Oh, y'all having fun tonight? Yeah. Bishop, thank you for having me. I hope I'm still a member. <laughs> Bishop said, I didn't tell him to sing. I don't know why is he singing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought he was just a host. Oh, that boy can't sing. He need to keep with the jokes. He need to keep the jokes. But no more singing. If Chris Tucker ever try to sing, just grab the mic out of his hand and run. Run with the mic, run. Oh, Bishop ain't laughing. I'm getting off stage. Okay, everybody. All right. Let's go to the video. I love you, Mom Blake. I love you, Bishop. We have a lot of sex questions up here. <laughs> I had sex with a much, and much is underlined, a much older man that I thought I was madly in love with. So I began to skip school. Later, he was put in jail 
because of the age difference. What I want to know is how do I stop wanting sex from him? How do I stop wanting sex from him? Yeah. Well, if you're in jail, you ain't getting none. <laughs> Y'all know I'm real. I'm real. I'm right there where we're. Go ahead, babe. Go ahead, babe. He may get on parole. He may have a weekend pass. He may have a weekend pass. <laughs> First of all, we're going to keep it real. Is that all right? If we're going to keep it real and we all family, say we all family. Since we all family, I can tell y'all my business, okay? I can tell y'all my business. First of all, I ain't got a front for nobody, okay? First of all, the first secret I'm going to tell you is that this ain't my hair, okay? We're going to tell the truth and shame the devil, okay? Because we know this right here is too packy for five dollars. trying to, you know, live life right, somebody always want to bother us as black folks. You know what I'm saying? What's really wrong going on? When we trying to love the Lord, mind our business, somebody always messing with us. Like, I went to go get my hair for braiding, right? You know you got to get your hair, you know, right? I went in and somebody caused me to lose my religion. I walked in and I was like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, do you have hair for braiding? No, black girl, we do not have a hair today. <laughs> We have no black magazine, no jet, no ebony, no essay. We have no net black guy. We have no black magazine here. We have no jet. No jet black. Do you have jet? Number one, jet black. Do you have brown? No, we have no blonde. We have no blonde. We have no black. We have no black. We only have blonde hair. Blonde hair. I don't like no blonde hair. You lie, black girl. <laughs> black girl, love the blonde hair. I see you in ghetto. I see you in ghetto all the time. <laughs> See, he's trying to act ugly. You know what I'm saying? He said, oh, black girl, why you always give me the prala all the time? You black people come my store all the time to give me the prala. <laughs> come pray, come pray, come pray. All you do, come pray all the time, black girl. You're not special. You're not special. Black people think they're so special. <laughs> dislike Asian people, because I do have an oriental doctor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do, you know, his name is Dr. Wu. You know, that ain't his real name, but I saw that bill, I was like, woo! <laughs> you know! <laughs> you know! <laughs> What's well, really going on? Can I tell you my business? If I could tell you my business, say, girl, tell me your business. <laughs> First of all, my mama, okay, she made me break up with my boyfriend, say y'all. Oh. Okay, she gonna get all mad just cause he tried to kill me that one time, right? <laughs> okay, she holding a grudge. You know how your mama always holding a grudge. You be over it and then she still holding a grudge, right? <laughs> you know, and stuff and everything. And my grandmama is psychic too. My grandmama told me, she was like, you can't see him no more, you can't see him no more, you know? And after he hit me in both of my eyes, <laughs> I could not see him, no. You know the word of God. <laughs> Truly know. That's good because a lot of people don't know. They going on what somebody else said. You know what I'm saying? Tiptoeing in somebody else's Bible. Don't even know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's all you got to know the Bible for yourself. You got to read for yourself, people. You got to read it for yourself. And you.
you got to know it for yourself. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because people can twist you if you're not reading right. Because, you know, because I'm telling you, because if you don't know, there's a whole lot of brothers that's in jail right now. Don't even know what they did. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand the charges. The judge be like, uh, young man, you're uh, accused of vehicular manslaughter. Uh, how do you plead? They be like, uh, all that vehicular and all that, what you talking about? I ain't do none of that, your honor. They trying to twist a brother. They trying to twist me right now. I just ran old girl over with the car. That's what I did. That's all I did on that. That was my thing. All that vehicle, what they trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, people, if you don't know the word for yourself, you can get tricked. Am I right? Because sometimes people speak a different language and they try to sneak it in and try to deceive you. You know what I mean? Like, okay, Latinos and blacks, we speak a different language than everybody else, right? Latinos and blacks, if we say brew, what are we talking about? We're talking about something to drink, right? Brew, right? Asian people, they don't understand us because if they say brew, you know, they might be talking about the colors that the Crips be wearing. You know, red and brew. Red Rule. Rule and red. Don't try to act like y'all don't know that. Try to act like <laughs> Single ladies, clap your hands. Single ladies. Single ladies. Woo. Y'all proud to be single, huh? I don't like to say, I don't, I don't like to say I'm single. I, well, I don't like to say I'm divorced. It sounds like a failure or something like that. So I'm re-single. You know what I'm saying? I'm re-single. Re single in the name. Jesus, you know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to find me a BMW, a black man worshiping. You understand what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. I want a brother that's going to lead in my household. You understand what I'm talking about? You know, I don't just like any black man, though. I like a brother, too, though. The crunchy. You know, just black for no reason at all. You know. <laughs> just black by popular demand. You know. A brother so black, if he lean against a rock, he look like a cave. Just a black. Black man of God is what I'm talking about. You know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't feel sorry for me. I'm going to find you know, the Lord is going to lead me in the right direction. Don't worry about that. And don't worry about these jokes because this is true stuff I'll be lying about, okay? So I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all how it is. I'm going to tell y'all how it is. I'm serious. Single ladies, don't worry. It's going to be all right. Say it's going to be all right. Ladies, I'm going to tell you something. If a man does not want you, he does not want you. If he don't want you, he don't want you. Say that for me, please. If he don't want you, he don't want you. Ain't no use of you driving by his house. Okay? Ain't no use of you acting up because if he don't want you, he don't want you. We got to realize that the hard way, don't we? But don't we like when, when the brother said nice thing to us, you know? Because I know, I know my reality, okay? Because back in the day, I used to be pow, pow, pow. You know what I mean? Now I'm just kind of like, ow, you know? But that's all right. Then why it's all right? Because the Lord know me, and that's all right. The Lord love me. But I'll tell you, I like when them foreigners come up to you. I don't care. You could be, I don't care how you look. They're going to say something nice to a beautiful black queen. You know what I'm saying? They are. I don't know what it is. It's something in the water mind. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you, they be like, I say hello there. I say hello there, pretty thing. Surely you must be an angel sent from the heavens up above. Girl, you got to tell me a name before I die. <laughs> we be like, oh, oh, I almost should have died. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> well, okay, man, I'm going to tell you right now. My grandmama told me, she was like, baby, you good, you good and everything. You, you, God done gave you a good gift and everything. You need to use your gift for the Lord always, baby, because you know, when you say them filthy things, don't say none of them filthy things like people be saying now, you know, how much do they pay to say them things, such and such grandma? But your grandma just saying, don't be saying it all the time, all the time. God, God know your heart, baby. He know your heart. He sees and he cares. And uh, as long as you pay your tithes, as long as you pay your tithes, the Lord know that your <laughs> My grandmama crazy. That's why, man, for Mother's Day, man, I, I already bought it and everything. I just bought my grandmama a brand new Benz for Mother's Day. On real, on real. I'm serious. Doing this right here, doing this right here for real. She likes it so much, you know, she keep it right on her nightstand next to her bed. Got a little, got a little pencil sharpener in there, you know, a little clock. You know, that's how I'm rolling. That's how I'm rolling. I know y'all was hating. I know y'all was hating. It's all good. I know y'all was hating. I was feeling y'all. I was feeling it. It's all good. Why do Christian people try to judge other folks when you're not supposed to be judging nobody? Why is it? Why, why are we our worst critics? Why do we always look people up and down when they won't wear the right thing in the church? You know what I'm saying? Instead of pulling a sister to the side and say, you know what, sister? You know what I'm saying? Because we're living wrong. Am I right? When people do stuff like that, you got to just do like this and say, I'm going to pray for you. 
I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm trying to live right. That's what I'm saying. That's why I try to go and do my thing. I'm tell you, I, my grandma, man, she was like, baby, you need to find you a nice Christian man, you know, to lead in your household. But my only thing is that I like thugs, right? So that just really, <laughs> trying to find a thug that go to church was kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, where do you find that? Is what I'm saying. So I was working on that. I was working on that. You know, she was like, well, you can't, you get God might send it in any form, in any rhyme or reason, baby. You just never know how God gonna send the package. I said, okay, 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 grandma, but that's all good. That's all good. What if he come in the form of a Latino? I said, okay, well, that's fine too, because she loved Latinos. She said, you need to party with the Latinos at least one time. So I go to the party, and I'm gonna tell you, the DJ was live at the Latino party, because they would mix anything with anything, don't they? I went to Latino party, man. They was mixing bum bana bum bum banana na na salt and pepper bana bum bum banana na na salt and pepper bana bum bum banana na 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 de colore bum bana bum bum banana na y por eso los grandes amores de gusto colores de gusto a mí y por eso los grandes amores they be mixing anything with anything. It's cool because they can mix. I'm telling you, their names sound so rich in culture. Am I right? Just beautiful names like, you know, Maria Conchita Alonso. You be like, hey, where they at? They up in here. Elancha Sanchez Vicario. You know, you can even put that name with like an Anglo or white sounding name. It still sound the bomb like Edward James almost. You know what I mean? <laughs> you see how he did that? And he knew what he was doing with that because it almost sound like he Latino. But anyway, that's his whole thing. That's all his whole thing. Y'all know about that in San Diego. Y'all know about that in San Diego. I know that's the real. We ain't gonna even front. We ain't gonna even front. I trip off it, man. It's fun to be able to do this, do comedy, and just go all over the world. Give it up for yourself, San Diego, for coming out and supporting an event like this. Because the more you support it in San Diego, the more it's gonna keep coming and keep coming in a positive way. You see what I'm saying? You got to show that they support. I'm telling you. Everybody always think, I think that black folks is so beautiful. Now, I might be biased because I'm black, but that's all right. Because if level my people is wrong, I don't want to be right. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, we just do things a little bit different than other people, okay? The only difference between black folks and white people is, is the answer machine. That's the only difference. And that's the only difference. You call white people, they're going to tell you what they did yesterday, what they're going to do tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell you, like, they're going to Niagara, Niagara Falls for, like, two weeks. Y'all need to stop doing that, white people. That Y'all going to get robbed doing that, telling people we going to be, they going to be gone for two weeks. Y'all need to stop doing that. I see y'all up there. I see y'all up there trying to hide and stuff like that. We know we got company. We know we got company. It's all good. You know, like they're going to tell you, you can see the difference between the answer machine, black people and white people. You call them up, white people are like, oh my God, hi. Oh my God, this is Janie. I'm not in right now because I'm like totally out with my boyfriend, Jason. Oh my God, I love him. Oh my God. Leave a message. Beep, right? You call black people up, what you gonna hear? If you don't hear music, black people ain't home, okay? You gonna hear some music on that answer machine. Now how many times have you called, you had called some black people up and the music was so jamming, you forgot who you called. Black people, we gonna have some music on that answer machine, y'all know. Y'all know, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm serious. How many of y'all tired of the black, the, the black people in the black community always being blamed for the drug problem? It ain't, it's not always our responsibility. It's not always our problem. We just got to pray for them. Am I right? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, can I tell you my business? Say, girl, tell me your business. Okay, okay. Sometimes it's the family that need to just crack down and just try to, you know, get, lift the person up and pray in prayer, right? It's a family. I didn't know how bad it was. I didn't know how bad it was, man. My grandmother went up to the school because my baby brother was selling crack at school, y'all. She went to the school. Oh, you were selling crack at school? You was. At school, you was selling crack. You was. At school. You were. Yeah, grandma. Get up. Oh, grandma, why you kicked me in my stomach? This morning when you asked me for some crack, you talking about you didn't have no more. See what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. Talking about you didn't have no more. That's what I'm talking about, Ricky. That's what I'm talking about, Ricky. Y'all so 
slow, y'all so slow, y'all so slow. <laughs> Sometimes when you laugh at something, you can go home and discuss it, and that's what it's all about, am I right? <laughs> Make you think. But I'm going to tell you, man, a lot of times spiritual goals, you got to kind of just reach out and get your own spiritual goals intact. Am I right? You got to take them right. So my grandmama, like I said, she told me, find your nice Christian man. So I finally found me a thug that was in the word, right? You know what I'm saying? Because he was like locked up for like eight years. So like he knew the Bible real good, right? <laughs> so like... No, but this, you know, this true lies I'm telling y'all. But I'm just telling y'all. So he took me to the gangster church. Y'all wanna go with me? Say I go with you. I'ma take y'all to the church he took me to, right? Y'all clap your hands like this. I'ma tell y'all about this church, right? Everybody that praise the Lord don't praise him the same. So we went to the gangster church, and it was like anybody else's church, but a little bit different, right? Open your mind, say my mind is open. So we walked into the gangster church, and it was cool. Had the little chain links around the sign, you know what I'm saying? You know, who can them tabernacle of faith? Okay. So we walked in, and they had a choir. The choir was marching in. They didn't have on no robes, you know. They had on khakis and they Raiders jerseys, you know what I'm saying? Had they locks around their head and they glasses, and they was throwing up their signs like this, and they was marching in. And they was like, hey. And that was just the women. So anyway, so all right, so so then so we moved on down and the choir director he had a Jerry Curl say, I know that's right. So he said, Word up, we up in his house of God and we about to bust this A and B selection for you. I said, Hey now, I ain't gonna judge nobody. He said, Word up, we finna sing this song, Jesus is the homie. And if you know it, I want you to sing it with me. He was like, I say Jesus is the homie. We be kicking it out of town. The choir say, he the homie. I say, Jesus is the homie. We be kicking it out of town. The choir say, he the homie. I said, on Monday. And then I said, on Tuesday. And then I said, on Wednesday. because he was just wrong. I was like, when I was messed up, just hitting that crack, you the only one that had my back. You the best friend I got in this world. The only one that never tried to talk to my girl. I just got to thank you, Lord, for never, ever asking for a sip of my father. What? Y'all is tripping up. Y'all is tripping. Y'all is tripping. Ooh. I'm going to close out with a rap. That'd be cool. Say that'd be cool. I want y'all to clap me a beat. I'm going to close out with a positive rap. Y'all ready? Y'all feel me? Say yeah. I'm going to close out like this. Now, if you're feeling good, let me hear you say, I know that's right. Now, if you got it going on, let me hear you say, all right. All right. If God is good, God. let me hear you say, I know that's right. I know that's right. And if you got it going on, let me hear you say, all right. All right. I am a comic, but you know I also rap. It's a fact that I attack, but my ramen ain't whack, you see? My mama told me that the truth would set me free, and if I try, I could be what I want to be. Then she said, when you're true to yourself, you never have to worry about nobody else. What God gives you, no one can take it away. Like Hammond said, we need to pray just to make it today. I'm reaching for the sky, gotta say goodbye. Enjoy performing for you, I can't lie. Wanna thank you for coming, there is no doubt. I am a Wanda White, and like Shaq, I'm out. I went to this church in Compton, it came out the hush.
He did the pastor, man. Pastor called out, he's reading from the book of John. Sound more like the book of Little John. <laughs> to the window! Uh, to the wall! Oh, when my saints come down and cry. Oh, you sinners fall. Get my Holy Ghost skeet skeet. I mean, you can't skeet in the church. He's like, when God moves, you move. I'm like, just like that? <laughs> Church just changing, boy. I mean, I'm opening for people I ain't never thought I'd open for in my life. Man, you got the gospel gangsters. I said, the Jesus drive-bys. And... <laughs> <laughs> Pippin' popes. <laughs> That's changing in church, boy. Cause, well, see, I grew up in a traditional church where you can get a hug. Remember that church, you know, that all like that? You know, they said the old fattened church had pastor and pastor turn to your neighbor. Turn your neighbor and say, neighbor? Your neighbor? <laughs> I'm glad you are here. <laughs> Can't do that in a big church nowadays, can you? We say, turn to your neighbor, say, neighbor, and they on their cell phones. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm praising the Lord right now. I'm in church. I'm in church. <laughs> Pastor doing a sermon, you hear do 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 Church just changing, boy. See, I grew up in the city. I'm originally from Chicago, see. Oh, yeah. They don't clap too loud, my family out there. That's the reason I'm out here. <laughs> you ain't never been around broke people before, boy. Broke people can find you. They come out the woodwork. You ain't even, you, I ain't even came off the plane yet. They come out the, hey, what's up, dog? What's up? What's up? What's up? I almost missed you. I almost missed you. What's up? Uh, what's up, Uncle? <laughs> and they always use that same line when they want to borrow some money. Let me holler at you for a second. Bro, see, I, uh, any, uh, and, and I always give props to, uh, let's say, for mothers, they give all the mothers a nice round of applause. I always give props to mamas because I had a real mama. Y'all know what I say, real mamas, beat your kids. You got a real mama. See, a lot of people don't know about, you know, real mamas. Because, you know, you know, mamas, they're scared to talk to the kids. Scared Y'all y'all let y'all kids get with it. Everything. <laughs> kids just talk back to you. Mama, you can't talk to me. I'm wrong. <laughs> I do what I want to do. I'm going wrong. <laughs> See, I had an uh, 18-year-old stepdaughter who said that same thing to me. <laughs> I said, grown folks pay bills around him. Grown folks move out right now. <laughs> now I'm not hard on my young. I love you. I love to see the young women growing up. But we got a lot of y'all got too many bad influences out there. I mean, them videos is just telling that just all the video. I'm saying, yeah, everything. Ja Rule and, you know, this, you, know you, you know, you gotta drink the quiz style and then, hey, he, ha, ha, ha. Sound like he got throat cancer or something. Hey, he, ha, ha. <laughs> What's up? I'm a thug. You gotta be a thug. You ain't a man, let's be a thug. <laughs> then you're wondering why he beat you upside your head. <laughs> Mommy, he keep hitting me. Well, he's a thug, baby. That's what he do. <laughs> You see, he's a thug. <laughs> thug don't mean he gonna be Prince Chomp. He gonna knock you upside your head once in a while. <laughs> then y'all girls, y'all getting the little tattoos. Y'all love the tattoos, boy. Putting the tattoos on the arm. They ain't so bad. You, you know, you, you, you get one guy and then you break up with him. Now you got another guy. And next thing you know, you got the Bible on your arm. You know? <laughs> God, I gotta sit there and read names and stuff like that. Well, you ain't said nothing. I'm trying to finish these reading. I'm, I'm on my third chapter right here. <laughs> and that 
that bad, they get the Chinese. They get the name in Chinese. There ain't no Chinese word for Shaquipa. That's sweet and sour pork, girl. Sweet and sour pork. If your name was written in Chinese, it'd go all the way down your arm. Then they get the tongue rings and the belly rings and all that ring, every, ring on everything but they fingers. Because that's part of growing up. You know what? If you want to do things, you say, hey, 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 that's part of growing up. You get to you, you we just experience some new things, experience some new things. But see, if you act like an H, you get treated like an H. If you act like a B, you get treated like a B. If you act like a lady, a man will treat you like a lady. You got your skirt way up there, and you tell me, stop looking at my booty. <laughs> got names back here. What are you looking at? I'm a reading, girl. I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> see, I love y'all. I want to take care of y'all. See, because y'all don't realize this. The devil trying to take our kids from us. <laughs> Yeah, I say, how you, what you mean, what you mean? The devil ain't trying to take nobody kids or like that. No, all the pictures is coming out right now. The devil ain't nothing trying to try to take your kids. Yeah, kid, the kids look more like the cartoon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, Japanese for demon collector. Then you got a uh, Pokemon, pocket monster. Digimon, digital monster. And you wonder why your kids run around the house. Ah. See, I know this because see, see, I got I got a three-year-old terrorist at home myself. See, I'm not hard on baby mamas because I'm a baby daddy. Hey, we're not saved unless we save from something, huh? That's why I like Fantasia. I'll be able to go on B A B Y B M A. This goes out for all my baby mom. Because <laughs> I'm a baby daddy. And I raised, but see, I'm a, I'm a father. I'm a real man. I want to raise my own child. I don't want no other man raising my child. See, I want to take the time to nurture her because she will not be swinging on no strip pole for none of you guys. I want to be the first influence. See, the, the child at the age of two, from the age of one to all the way to five, is the most influenced. That's when they get influenced. And they're influenced by everything they see on TV. So right now, I'm even questioning SpongeBob right now. Look, cause my daughter won't listen to me. I say, hey, come, come here, girl. Hey, come here, come, hey, come, girl, come here, come here, come, come here. Come. Yeah, I chase her all through the house. But let that, are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. Oh, who lives in the pineapple one in the sea? Money and yellow and orange is he? In nautical not should be something you wish. Sit them on the floor and let them see they terrorize. Y'all remember the passion? Oh, I love the passion. Oh, I love the passion, boy. See, see, that lets you know what Christ actually went through. You saw what Christ went through, boy, but I swear, I'm so glad my mama didn't see the passion. She would have thought that was a training video. Ooh, baby, if Jesus can take a butt whipping like that, you should have been, been hollering at no. See, the passion let me see one thing, though, because I'm trying to be an actor and trying to get out there, but I love to know one thing. If I was the passion, woo, I could not have been Jesus. No, I'm sorry. None of y'all be saved today. Oh, them whips would have broke that up. Oh, oh. 
Hey, hey, oh, 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 you looking for Jesus. You looking for Jesus. I'm Jesus. Jesus over there. Jesus over there. I mean, in the passion, Peter was his boy, wasn't it? Peter was his boy. Peter was like, what you mean? For the crop broke three times. Boy, ain't no, well, I'm Peter. Boy, we ride together, we die together. I'm Peter. Boy, ain't nobody stay stepped to you that got stepped to me. Cut him. I'm Peter. Peter saw that beat down, he was like, excuse me, excuse me. Get me. You gotta watch who you take as your friend, huh? <laughs> oh, man. So, are uh, they shooting out here on the freeway in San Diego? They shooting in LA. I know they couldn't be shooting out here. Where they gonna run? Run to the border or something? <laughs> they be shooting at y'all. Next thing you know, they be like, oh, I'm in Mexico. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love good movies, y'all. I love to see y'all. See, once there, I wish we get get a good Christian organization, production company that can make some nice Christian movies, some nice spiritual movies that all oh, you know our kids can grow up and see. See, I I, I was a, I'm a, I'm a, I love an old movie. I love good old movies, man. I was sitting at home watching Lilies of the Field last night. <laughs> watching Sidney Poitier. That was a real actor. Feel you watch, Chaba. Mama, I'm not billing you no chopper. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> See, I like the good ones. My, my favorite movie, kid you not, Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments. See, that was back in the day when they actually made movies. I mean, real actors. Real actors used to take over the role. Hugh Brenner. Y'all remember Hugh Brenner? <laughs> A lot of people didn't know Hugh Brenner was half black. That's why he was so muscular. He took a, he played Ramsey II. Ball headed. He came out there commanding the role, didn't he? Moses. Moses. Is there no magician in the EW come back to make snake pop sticks? <laughs> oh, did the rabbits to appear? Be just said to do a great task. Be just did make bricks with our straw. But the tally of bricks shall not diminish. So let it be written. <laughs> so let it be done. Man, they had other actors out there that could have took that role from. Jimmy Stewart was back in the day. Hello. They could have gave it to Jimmy Stewart, but it wouldn't have been the same. Wow, 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 wow. No, 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 no. I can't let your people go. No, what about uh, what about Ramsey's house? About Nefertiti's house? No. <laughs> the governor of Goshen was played by Edward G. Robinson because they were looking for that gangster feeling in there. <laughs> nah, nah. What about your God now, Moses? Nah. <laughs> Nowadays they had to give it to Scarface, wouldn't he? Throw your mind. Throw you're gonna bring us some water. Oh no, we want a boat like you promised, okay? We're not crossing this river unless you bring us a boat. We want our political freedom. <laughs> or you can just say goodbye to the bad guy. But I tell you, that's the last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this. Go ahead, Israel, make way for the bad guy. The role of Moses himself was played by Charleston Heston because they wanted a powerful actor. If there is one more plague upon Egypt, it'll be by your word that God shall bring it. And there shall be such a cry upon this land that you will surely let the people go. Nowadays, they had to give it to Bernie Mac, wouldn't they? Ladies, I'm going to tell you one more time, Paul. You won't let these people go. I'm going to take this stick, bust you upside the forehead. Ain't nobody scared of you. Boy, I bust you upside the head, though. Don't play with me, Paul.
The role of God himself was played by, 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 by this dude named uh, Ted Cassidy. Nobody knew who Ted Cassidy was at the time. Ted Cassidy played Lurch on the Adams Family. You rang. And that's how he played God, too. He was like, Moses, Moses, take thy shoes from all time. Moses sitting there like, what, what I can't hear you. What are you saying there? <laughs> now, I had that being James Earl Jones. <laughs> Mufasa. Dark Vader. The most powerful black actor voice in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, y'all would have heard every word, too. It would have been like, Moses, Moses, take thy shoes from off thy feet. <laughs> For the ground I walk on is hollow ground. Moses would have hopped out of them shoes, y'all. <laughs> but this is the year 2005, remaking movies. You know, if they remake the movie, they got to find somebody to play God. Moses is going to go to the top of the mountain. It's going to be the voice of Bill Cosby. <laughs> Moses, I want to talk to you uh, about Egypt. Now, I want you to go down to Egypt. I want you to tell Ophrah, I said, let the people go more than two. I want you to bring the people here, here, here. I want you to be right next to the burning bush. Nope, step back from my bush. I want you brothers by my bush. You try to smoke my bush. <laughs> Moses go to the top of the mountain and be the voice of Richard Pryor. <laughs> Say, Moses. Say, boy, I see you hiding behind the rock. Come here. <laughs> Moses, come here. First of all, who told you to go through the desert? <laughs> Moses, I want you to go to Egypt. You hear me? Moses, I want you to go to Egypt and tell Pharaoh, I say, <laughs> let my people go. Moses, I want you to bring the people for the mount. I want the people to make a boink offering unto the Lord. I want the people to bring me cows, chicken, a goose, or a turkey. <laughs> Anoint these animals with herbs and spices and make a boink offering unto the Lord. Because God likes barbecue. Moses go to the top of the mountain and be the voice of Magic Johnson. Uh -oh. Ah, what's happening is Moses. <laughs> and Moses, I want you to go out to Egypt and get the people and bring them right here so we make our own community. <laughs> Moses go to the top of the mountain and be the voice of Shaq. <laughs> Moses, I want you to go down to Egypt and get the people there. Can you dig it? Moses go to the top of the mountain and be the voice of Muhammad Ali. Moses, I want you to go tell old fellow. I said, let my people go. Now float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Bring all the people of Egypt to me. When the people of Egypt want to know the latest, tell them they're coming to see the greatest. <laughs> Moses go to the top of the mountain and be the voice of Jesse Jackson. Oh, come on now. I don't care if Jesse a baby daddy. That's my favorite bitch. <laughs> Jesse's done more for this country than half the politicians that's out there right now. Freed hostages by himself. Ran for the presidency. He got a homeless programs. Yeah, I mean, come on, gotta give something to Jesse. See, Jesse had that ability ever since he was a baby. Go back in time, see little Jesse when he was growing up. Jesse had that same ability. Jesse was in the classroom, teacher called him out. Jesse? Jesse, we need somebody to recite some poetry. We was wondering if you can come up here and enlighten the children. Jesse came out there. Thank you very much, teacher. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb <laughs> whose fleece was white as snow. <laughs> Subsequently, <laughs> have a white the Mary went. Lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. Now let's talk about that right now. Little white Mary brought a lamb to school. But when little black Jesse brought a turtle, he got three weeks detention. That's something wrong.
Moses go to the top of the mountain and be the voice of little Richard. Moses will run back down the mountain, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That Moses hot sugar, how you doing? Hi baby, where you, where you get them shoes from? Moses, I want you to go down to Egypt. You hear me? Moses, I want you to go down to Egypt. I want you to tell Pharaoh, I said, shut up. God bless you. Thank you for watching the Jonathan Desparty Gospel Channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and get your praise on. telling you I don't usually holler like this I don't usually holler like this but I feel like hollering today joy comes in the morning if the devil was going to kill me he should have killed me in the night if the devil was going to steal my joy he should have stolen it in the night if he was going to take my peace he should have took it in the night weeping only endures for a night joy somebody shout joy Just shake hands with three people. Tell them it's your, it's your morning. It's your morning.